Welcome back. As we enter this new school year, we're following new reports related to gender policy in the classroom. Take this example by the Daily Caller here. One Michigan school reportedly advising this approach, hiding gender support plans from students' parents. The article states that Davison Community Schools, just west of Flint, appears to instruct adult educators and administrators to hide gender-related issues from the parents of students, according to a document titled Confidential Gender Support Plan. Joining us now, the founder of It Takes a Family, Monica Klein. Monica, welcome. Thank you very much for coming on today. Tell me more about uh, these policies, what stand out to you, and why you might take issue with them. Oh, you know, this has been going on for quite some time. And um, to see that the schools are purposely hiding this important information from parents is, is not an accident. This is all part of a plan. And we see this through uh, a CDC program that parents should go look up right now called Whole School, Whole Community, Whole Child. And when you look at their virtual school, you see that their plan is to institutionalize our children within the public school system. They have a general practitioner, a dentist, a counselor, and none of this has anything to do with the parent. Really, the parent and the family is on the outside circle of this program of this program. And so what we're seeing here is this program being rolled out little by little by individual school districts across our nation. And it's all geared to wedge, to create a wedge between children and parents. You know, I, I like to think of, of how can we relate this to make this more digestible. If, if you've had kids who've graduated, you, have, you aren't in this, the school arena right now. You know, if you've got a student who's struggling in one of their courses, right, if they're falling behind in math, if that's standing out to you as a teacher, would you typically reach out to the parent and say, hey, I noticed your child is falling behind. They're going through some issues with the subject. You know, what's going on at home? And opening that line of communication. Is that a different approach when it comes to if your child is identifying as a different gender in the classroom. It shouldn't be. And I think when you and I were growing up, and I don't know if you went to public school or not, but that is exactly what we used to see. If a school or a teacher saw an issue with a child, whether it was emotional or academic, they immediately contacted the parent and worked with the parent. But now, the new norm for the public school system or our taxpayer government schools or not to do that, but instead for them to then take charge of the child themselves. And we're seeing with these mental health bills and all this money going into the schools that they are trying to replace the family. And then you see these kind of actions from schools where they're purposely lying to children about their gender, about sexuality, and keeping secrets from parents. That's a red flag. Anytime you see anyone, any institution keeping secrets from family, You've got a problem. Sure. Uh, really quick, Monica, I know your organization is shedding uh, light onto these examples here, T kind of taking a look at various policies across the United States. What would you recommend to parents who just want to have some knowledge about where their school district stands? You know, I do this actively in the state of Texas, and I speak nationally. And so in the state of Texas, I've actually aligned myself with concerned parents and citizens on something called Texas Education 911, where our focus is changing the public school system, making it safe again through legislation. And so you can go to Texas Education 911 right now and look at our legislative priorities, which actually did impact our Republican priorities for the next session. Um, and people can look at these pro legislative priorities and adopt them into their own states. We need to tackle this. There's two things that we need to do. Protect your child, number one. Pull them out of the public school system. I know it's going to be a huge sacrifice, but your children are worth it. And number two, fight through legislation. All right. We'll have to leave it right there. Monica Klein joining us this morning with her thoughts. Monica, thank you very much. Thank you.